In today's video, we're going to take a look at Synology's latest NAS enclosure, storage enclosure, which brings us to the point where we have something quite interesting right here on the table. Now, this is Synology DS224+, Plus, which is a two-bay NAS, of course, and uh, it has loads of features that are quite interesting, and I'll get to that part later on. But we also have, for the first time on the channel and the first time for me, uh, Synology 3300 4TB Plus series. Now, we have two of those logical because we have a two-bay NAS, and this kind of brings us to the point where you could do a backup, where you could do write fields for some sort of a backup of a backup, and I think you already know what I'm talking about. Write 1 can be definitely done here. So we have just a bunch of disks, write 0 and write 1. Now what's it all about with enclosure? Now I have a DS218 play over there, constantly working, and as you remember from my review, uh, this one actually pops out the front panel a bit differently. So, first of all, we're going to go through the design. We have some rubber standoffs that are actually giving us some sort of a ease of access to the hard drives compared to the DS218 Play. You just pop it out and you have the immediate access to the disc one and disc two. Now, when we take a look, you have to push the top part and just slide out each bay. It's all individual. And the indication for first and the second hard drive is with dots. So the first uh, hard drive bay has one dot and the second one has two dots. Now, right here, we have five indication lights. One is for the status. If something goes wrong, obviously it will blink uh, red, but uh, you like the green light here. Then we have a LAN 1, LAN 2, DISC 1 and DISC 2. When everything is working properly, they all blink uh, green and the LAN 1 and LAN 2, depending on the transfers, uh, they light up as well. Then we have one USB 3.2 generation 1. Right underneath the USB, we have the copy button. Now this is interesting because my past NAS doesn't have that. And we have the power on button. Now when we take a look at the back, what we got here is a 92 times 92 millimeter fan, which is really quiet, so up to 22 decibels. And comparing to some computer fans, that is really quiet. Then we have two 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, and we have another USB 3.2 generation 1, and right beneath it, we have the power source. So, it's uh, quite nice. It looks quite nice, I do have to say. And when you take a look from the inner part, you can see you have one slot which is empty for upgrading your RAMs. Now, here's the catch. Let's go through some uh, main specs. So this is 2-bay disk station NAS. It has a DSM 7.2 support, BTFRS X4, SHR write 0 and 1. It has Intel Celeron J4125 quad core, 2 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, the maximum is 6. We have two USB 3.2 generation 1 up to 5 gigabytes per second. Then we have two 1 gigabit uh, network ports. It doesn't have support for NVMe. Uh, the power supply is 60 watts, access is 14.69 watts, and the hibernation is 4.41. The warranty, two years, but you can extend the warranty up to four years. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how to place your hard drives. It's very easy, there's no problem, because the caddies have these uh, latches on the side, which can be easily popped out, and that's all there is to it. After that, you use your hard drive, you place it inside, uh, just as this, and you place each latch on each side back to its original position, you push them inside to make a certain click, and that's it. So, the only thing that you need to look inside is to see where is the orientation of the SATA power and SATA data port, and you place it inside. So, just to give you a heads up, the sticker needs to be faced uh, towards the LEDs, you push it inside, a bit harder push to, so that the connectors actually connect inside, and that's it. When I mentioned that there's an empty memory module slot uh, that can be upgraded, you can upgrade up to 6 gigs, uh, and you have integrated 2 gigabytes, which are soldiered to the PCB. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it gives you an option to upgrade to 6, which means 
uh, you can place one memory module, four gigabytes to get those six, right? Shame it doesn't have a possibility to either have eight at least. So if they had the possibility to remove the two ones and add two times four gigs, they will be much better. But uh, regardless, I think here we have some sort of a limit. So yeah, we stick to that. Now the interesting part with the Synology DS224 Plus is that it has integrated graphics. Now for some of you guys that only want your NAS to be a storage backup solution that will give you some sort of a access to your files and keep your files safe, you won't be that much interested in this part. But here we go. So integrated graphics will definitely help you towards some process more than the others. So component built-in CPU for some graphical tasks, such as the conversion of multimedia. This is definitely the most accessible NAS in the lower price uh, comparing to current generation NAS with integrated graphic cards. Now this is quite interesting because it will help you towards some tasks and speed up the process. Now the cool thing when we take into consideration the integrated graphics, we also have a full access to DSN 7.2. So not 70, 80 or 90%. It's like literally 100% because the past series, and I'll get to that part later on, didn't have that option. DSM2 or Disk Station Manager, some cheaper can access, as already stated, 70 to 80% of the DSM 7.2 like the J series. But with this one, you get a full access to it, which includes virtual machine deployment, volume encryption, full container support, uh, access to anti-backup suit, uh, access to transcoding engine, Plex deployment will be good, uh, video station with access uh, to the transcoding, access to converting audio files as well, surveillance support for more cameras, and so, so much more. I could really go into the list and it's really a long list, I have to say. But summing it up, this is just a fraction what you can do with the DSM 7.2. And this, as already stated, even for the integrated graphic card, it goes for the DSM 7.2, is the lowest price point for an ass to get a full access to DSM 7.2. Now with the release of Synology hard drives and SSDs, they had apparently limited access to hard drives and SSDs on some devices. But with this one, you can use third party hard drives. And I'm not mentioning uh, here this because we have here a four terabyte from Synology, right? Because you could use your Seagate, you can use your Western Digital, and which is really good. Why not? If you already have some hard drives that you're using in your past NAS and you want to upgrade to DS224+, why just not continue using your hard drives that you already have? And this is more cost efficient for you because you don't have to buy new hard drives. But what I would still suggest is to check out the qualified vendor list. And it is a bit limited, but they give you the list of products that are working 100%. So they are guaranteeing that these hard drives or SSDs will definitely work on your DS224 Plus. Now, hopefully they will update the list eventually when they test out and check out everything and give you an option for more varieties of hard drives or even larger capacity. Also, the network connectivity isn't upgradable. Although you could link them together with link aggregation or SMB multi-channel, the shame is that today it has only one gigabit network port. And even with link aggregation, you're getting two gigabits. Shame it doesn't have 2.5, which would make 5 with link aggregation. For for small amount, you could grab a USB to 2.5 gigabit port and connect it to your USB port. Or you could just grab a wireless band with Wi-Fi 6E and grab more speed. But those are some parts that I like to state right up front to give you some idea what you can expect from the DS224+. Plus. It's really cool that it has integrated graphics, which will definitely help you with all the process and everything that I mentioned in earlier in the video. So yeah, quite cool. Since it has been quite some time from my past review of uh, Synology NAS and uh, basically accessing DSM, apart from regular accessing when I'm using my uh, DS218 Play, uh, let's uh, connect everything and check out what we can expect inside. So what is that you need to do to access your new freshly installed Synology DS224 Plus? Well, basically you go to find.synology.com and it will search your network for any of Synology devices that are connected to it. 
and uh, from that point it's really straightforward you just follow the wizard that will guide you through complete installation including creating a storage pool that you can do whatever you want so if you want write zero write one or any other uh, type of pool that you desire now here there are loads of options to go through you could go with two 2FA you can create your well you do need to create your administrator account with passwords and uh, basically when we go all through that which takes out I would say somewhere around five to ten minutes it's not that long it really goes quite quickly and then you access the DSM 7.2 now right here we have options to install loads of other applications that you can find and this brings us to the point where you actually decide if well you already know what you're going to use it for but this is the point where if you're just looking for a storage and backup solution you have a couple of applications that will definitely help you with that with automation and all the other stuff or you just want to drag and drop your files uh, on it and create some storage file system but if you want to go deep inside NAS in terms of use all the possibilities that this NAS can do with DSM 7.2 that is definitely an option now regarding the DS224 plus we have um, loads of options but uh, two one gigabit ethernet ports is something that could have been done also a bit better giving us a uh, possibility to use much faster speeds of uh, ssds and hard drives as well so yeah i mean all around it's a great nas it is definitely an upgrade from your past depending on what you had but for instance if i compare ds218 play which is quite an older model i do have to say to ds224 plus it's without a doubt a huge upgrade especially with the, all the possibilities with DSM it's outstanding I would say yeah it's somewhere there you do have to take into consideration what are you going to use DS224 plus for if it's going to be just for storage and uh, saving your data doing backups or anything similar to that doing the automation for backup of your system creating volume storage pools or anything similar to that it's outstanding but then we also have virtual machines, then we have uh, transcoding integrated graphics and all the other kicks that really do come in quite cool option as a DS224 plus, I would say, features and specs. So, Ethernet ports could have been upgraded, memory modules, yeah, okay, I'll pass that through. A processor, as I already said, plus and a minus. It could have been upgraded, but then again, they are kind of using a trustworthy CPU that will deliver, even though there are much stronger CPUs that could uh, create a much better environment for, uh, for the processing of everything. And yeah, uh, still, I do have to say thumbs up to Synology because they did create an overall good NAS that will definitely uh, do the job that you need it for. And that's simply it it's all up to you to decide finally my recommendation exclusively just because you have so much stuff going on with the dsm 7.2 and will definitely give you an option to browse loads of applications inside it and eventually i don't know go even deeper into uh, whole, all of that uh, storage solutions and what could be done with uh, Synology DS224 Plus. I'll place the link in the description below for this one just in case you decide to check it out, buy it eventually and of course the Synology HUD 3300 4TB hard drives if you want to pair that uh, combination out because as I stated at the beginning QVL is something that you do need to read when we're talking about the DS224 Plus and these ones actually work without a problem. So yeah, that will be all for today, guys. If you like this type of content and you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching today's one, and I hope I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.